Hello CMU, welcome to the update. I'm Sofia Rodriguez and I'm excited to tell you about this week's events as well as providing information about clubs and organizations here on campus. The Colorado Capital Conference is looking for applicants. 100, 100 lucky students will be chosen to attend this event in Washington, D.C. The purpose is to learn more about our country's legislative process. Students will not only get to hear from legislators, but interact with them. The applications will be reviewed by U.S. Senators Michael Bennett and Cory Gardner, University of Colorado, Colorado State University, and Colorado Mesa University. A $375 non-refundable fee is required from chosen applicants. Those chosen will also be in charge of room and airfare. The application is now open and will continue to be open until March 21st. The application can be found online on the Colorado Mesa University website. This week is National Signing Day. On the 7th of February, usually the first Wednesday of every February, this is an exciting day for high school seniors everywhere and it is the first day that they can sign a letter of intent from the NCAA team. Here at CMU National Signing Day is a big deal as we can begin to see what our athletic teams will look like for the next year. With so many talented athletes graduating this spring, this Wednesday feels like the first step to saying goodbye. Finally, I don't know if you knew this, but we have a new Maverick store named Game Day. It opened back in December, but it isn't very well known that this new apparel shop is up and ready for business. It is located in the Maverick Center in front of Brownson Arena. The new store has a variety of prices and merchandise. This is also where the ticketing for sports events at Bronson Arena will take place. If you are a big CMU Athletics fan, make sure to go check out the new game day store. Yesterday, I got the opportunity to interview one of the most influential people at CMU, the president of the assorted student government, associated student government, excuse me, Ben Lindsay. Let's take a look. Hi, Ben. Thank you for joining us. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, of course. So you are the president of the Associated Student Government, ASG. Uh, what, in your words, does ASG do? Great question. Um, I think I think the biggest thing we do is, is allocate monies. I think that's the, the biggest action we have. But I think in terms of our presence on campus, our role is to really represent the student's voice, um, whether it's with the administration, faculty, uh, whatever it may be, and, and come up with uh, creative solutions and um, ideas to better the student body in general. So um, if I was a club or organization, you guys would be the ones um, taking care of how much funding we would be receiving, correct? Yeah, that is one of our roles. And I think uh, we also, um, uh, we, we see, see ourselves as kind of the bridge between the students and the rest of the university. And so if a student's voice isn't being heard, we're there to be that voice for that student. Um, but that is definitely a large part of our responsibility is to allocate this past year we allocated $1.2 million to all the club organizations on campus, oh. or student organizations on campus, and so that is one of our big roles. You said um, $2 million? Uh, $1.2 million. $1.2 million. Yeah. That's still a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, um, well, as the president, what's kind of your role in that process? Absolutely. Uh, our, my, my role itself is to really just oversee the entire group and ensure that it is being um, ran the best that it can be ran um, and to appoint executive members to certain positions for events and for other things like that um, but also to be kind of that, that brainstorming figure in the group that, um, that that comes up with those ideas and, and brings things to the agenda for the group to hopefully accomplish. So really the leader but also the organizer of, of anything and everything I like to think. Well, you really are the man in charge, uh, but a lot of people don't know this about you. You're not only the ASG president, you're also the president of our campus amb ambassadors, mm -hmm. and you have been an RA in years prior, and you're a nursing student, <laughs> and you're a senior on top of that. Uh, so how do you make this all happen? Like, what's what's the magic trick? That's Yeah, I think that's a good question. I'd, I'd say the biggest thing that motivates me is that I love doing it and I love doing it all and just being around people I think the people that I surround myself with and that people who choose to surround themselves with me I think uh, that really just makes it the best environment possible and makes you want to be there um, and 
being involved, I've always been involved through high school and, and I'm really happy that I had the opportunity to do that in college too because it really drives me to, I think, grow as a person, but um, also the opportunity to grow something else at the same time. Well, I definitely think that you do a lot um, and you get a lot in return, correct? Yeah, I'd like to, selfishly, I guess you could <laughs> say that, yeah. Um, I mean, I, yeah, like I said, I love love doing what I do and that feeling of accomplishment when things go well and I, I think even the feeling of growth is even even better when things don't go always go so well. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of self-fulfillment in what I do, but um, I think that comes through hopefully helping others at the same time. What's your proudest accomplishment in your college career so far? Man, that's a good question. Um, I would have to say, I think being a part of the ambassadors was a really cool opportunity for me. Um, I don't know if that counts as a college achievement, but oh, um, definitely. <laughs> getting into that program from the very beginning really opened up all the doors for me on campus. And not only that, but it, it gave me a group of 29 other people to be a family with from the get-go. And so I think that's one of my f favorite accomplishments just because it, it did open up all those doors. And, and I think those people have brought so much more into my life if I didn't have in my life. So I'm really grateful for that. And I think it's a good group of people that definitely does a lot for CMU. So. Are you friends with your work friends? So are you friends with your ambassador friends? Are you friends with your ASG <laughs> um, coworkers? Are you friends with your RA? Um, are a people as well. I'd say that's about all my friends right there. You <laughs> just named them all off. Yeah, I'm very driven with with the work that I do, and I think from that comes a lot of really good re relationships. And um, yeah, I, that 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 is really where all my friends are, and that's why I love doing what I do so much. Is because when I go into work, it's not just work; it's it's working with friends, and I call them family at the same time. So that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> so putting work and putting school aside. Uh, putting everything aside, what do you do on your free time? Ooh, more work. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think work definitely takes up a lot of my time, but I'm not wa not working. Um, love to. I really love movies, watching movies with friends, and um, skiing in the ski ski season. Just being outdoors and again hanging out with people outside of work because I, I don't think there's there's good relationships outside of work with all of them as well. So just being around yeah. the people, I think people really drive me to be who I am. What's your favorite movie? Oh, currently The Greatest Showman. Absolutely The Greatest Showman. I've, oh, I've seen I it. I uh, like that one. Oh, really? I've seen it three times now. And three? It, it's in theater? Yeah. <laughs> wow. So every time I meet someone that hasn't seen it, I, I have to take them in to go see it. So that's yeah, definitely my favorite movie right now. I think just because of the emotion it makes me feel. It makes me all happy and kind of refocuses my mind. So that's just to see what they cool. do. So. Awesome. Well, um, if you could do anything, because you're graduating in May, mm -hmm. uh, if you could do anything differently if, when you went back to college, or if you could have done anything differently in your college career, uh, what would you have done differently? Wow. Hmm. That's a good one. I would, I'd say, and I think I've done a better job of this this, this semester, but being a willing to, to kind of just go with the flow and whatever happening, Whatever is happening, go and do it, especially if it's a group of friends saying, hey, let's hang out. Um, not always be so focused on that necessarily the next week, but also look at the big picture and, and look at those relationships that you're going to have after college and really focus on those. Uh, I think just be more, not that I haven't been present, but I think even be, be attempt to be even more present in what I do would be the best, best thing. So you seem very calm and collected. <laughs> um, which if I was in your position, I definitely would be crazy. Um, but you're definitely a leader here on campus. What is your leadership style? How do you go about it? I think the, well, I appreciate that you call me a leader. I think that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's quite a compliment. But uh, I think that is the, the common collectiveness, that what I bring into a lot of situations, um, whether it's nursing or ASG or ambassadors. Um, I like to think that I bring a, a calm to the, the many storms that are on campus. Um, and, and bring a steady mind, um, but also bring uh, some bring an attitude that that's not afraid to embrace change. Um, I think seeking out change is one of the best things that we can do, but it may not always be the ne most necessary thing. So being calm and being able to to be patient with all that kind of stuff, I think, just bring that presence to the room. 
Right, and exactly thing. what you're saying, like, as a nurse, you know, I feel like if you were not calm, uh, things could go very badly. So that's a definitely a very good quality to have um, as someone that is choosing your career path. Um, I have just one more question for you. Okay. Um, okay, so like I said, you're graduating in May. What is in store for you in, um, after you graduate? Good question. Uh, it changes every morning. I think the, the plan right now is to hopefully um, either stay in town or move up to Milwaukee where my girlfriend is um, and, and continue to, to nurse. I'm also um, completing an EMT certificate right now, so hopefully work towards that paramedic and, and work for a fire department as well. Wow. Um, but I would love to, to serve the country at some point, so I'm looking at the reserves as well. So. Many things on the table, a lot of, like I said, it changes every morning. Um, <laughs> I am excited to see, see what it turns out to be, but I know whatever I'm doing, I'm gonna enjoy it. So. Well, I'm sure it'll turn out just fine. Thank you so much for coming in today and sitting and talking with me for a little bit. Um, glad to have you. Well, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, it's there awesome. you go. All right, Mavs, that's all I have for you this time. I'll see you next week for the update.